वेलकम एवरीबॉडी टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज ऑप्टिक फाइबर केबल व्हाट आर एप्लीकेशंस आई आल्सो विल टेल व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ ऑप्टिक फाइबर केबल इन पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ऑप्टिक फाइबर केबल इज वेरी थिन फाइबर मेड ऑफ ग्लास और प्लास्टिक ऑप्टिक फाइबर केबल इज यूज टू ट्रांसमिट लाइट इट हैज बेसिकली टू लेयर इंटरनल लेयर इज कॉल कोर आउटर लेयर इज कॉल क्लैडिंग रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ कोर is always more than refractive index of cladding n1 is more than n2 light travels in this fiber on the principle of total internal reflection when light comes here total internal reflection takes place and we get light here this is construction of cable this is core this is cladding then buffer will be there jacket will be there and many other mechanical protection will be given depending on applications like it may be indoor it may be outdoor it may be inside water it may be inside land it may be hanging it is high voltage or low voltage like that these are the advantage of fiber optic cable in comparison to copper cable first is more bandwidth we can transmit more data in fiber optic cable compared to copper cable more distance we can transmit signal for longer distance no emi noise problem because this is glass there is no noise or emi there is no electrical signal here no cross talk when copper cable we take and two signals are running in parallel there will be cross talk but here there is no such problem then there is no impedance problem in copper wire for longer distance we have to match impedance here there is nothing like that then fiber optic cable are small in size and weight also is low security security in fiber optic cable is more than the copper cable then safety because there is no electrical wire here so no high voltage or low voltage or shock problem it is safe fiber optic cable are available in two mode one is single mode fiber smf second is multi mode fiber mmf single mode fiber core is very thin typical core diameter is about 8 to 10 micrometer in multi mode fiber typical core diameter is 62.5 i have written one value it can be anything from 50 to 100 so this core dia is much more than this core dia in single mode fiber require accurate connector alignment because area is very less here to require more accurate light alignment and connector alignment in this case area available is more to so connector alignment is easy smf is used in all long distance applications this one mmf used for short distance applications 
then in this case laser light source required we require laser light then one more difference is there in single mode fiber only single mode of light propagates this light is coming this is called the single mode in this case because diameter is more so you see light can travel like this light can travel like this light can travel like this so there are three group there will be many group actually these are called the modes so thick core allows multiple modes of light to propagate here i have written 9 by 125 means core dia is 9 micrometer and cladding dia 125 micrometer here 62.5 by 125 means this is core dia this is cladding diameter this is one way of writing i have given just one example now components of optic fiber communication there will be one transmitter one receiver and one optical cable we give electrical signal here transmitter convert electrical signal into optical signal this optical signal or light travels like this and this receiver convert this optical signal into electrical signal again now in this process what happens there will be insertion loss or it is also called coupling loss when there is a light source and this is cable so light will go in many direction so some light will go inside some will go outside but if core dia is more more light will go inside so here coupling losses are more here coupling losses are less here coupling is more problem then dispersion what happens when optical light travels here some light will go straight some light will go like this in this case light has to travel longer distance compared to this so this will reach after some time compared to this so there will be many light signals signal will be one there will be many group they will reach her at different times so when we give electrical signal like this here we get optical signal something like this this is called the dispersion and this receiver convert this into this then bending radius because this is made of glass if you bend more it will break the every optical cable has some minimum bending radius called r it may be 10 mm 20 mm or anything so we have to be very careful for that then attenuation when light enters here full 100% will not reach here there will be losses here inside this fiber that is called the attenuation this is optical power meter job of optical power meter is to measure the optical power or losses in the cable it will have one transmitter optical transmitter one optical receiver and it will read in dbm how much light is coming here or what are the losses now this is method of application in communication suppose we have to transmit this signal from here to here so we will have one coder 
one transmitter this is cable fiber optic cable receiver and decoder this is electro signal we convert in coded signal then here we transmit in form of optical light this receiver receive the optical light we get a electrical signal here then decoded signal here so this signal comes here in many communication there will be two way chain one this one this in reverse fashion coder will be here decoder will be here now what happens suppose two signals are like this here we have to transmit and this cable is very long then due to dispersion this electrical signal here will reach here like this similarly this signal here will reach here like this so there will be overlapping of optical signal these are optical signals here so it is difficult to make the difference to avoid this we use repeater in this case we reduce the length of this optical cable this is signal a this is b this is c this electrical signal a is like this here we get optical signal optical signal is transmitted here we get distorted signal but much less compared to this because this length is much less compared to this now this signal optical signal is converted here to electrical signal this optical getting converted like this so this a will become b this a will become b like this then again same process will start this is transmitter this electrical signal will convert into optical signal optical signal will travel and here we receive optical signal like this distortion will be there but much less compared to this because this length is much less compared to this and this receiver will convert the signal into c so this a will reach here but here it will not if distance is more then there will be many repeaters now we will see optical cable application in power electronics here i have shown few thyristor connected in series at high voltage 100 kv or 220 kv our purpose is to trigger all thyristor at a time using signal available at earth voltage here we convert this electrical signal into optical signal transmit this optical signal using separate optical fiber cable this circuit converts optical signal into electrical signal amplify this and trigger this thyristor similarly this circuit converts optical signal into electrical signal and trigger this thyristor if there are three thyristor there will be three circuit this circuit does not require any external power it draws the power from here itself similarly suppose we have to send some monitoring signal from here to here we use another cable in reverse direction this electrical is converted into optical signal this is fiber optic cable here again we convert optical into electrical signal so for each thyristor we use two cable one for transmitting data one for receiving data if there are three there will be three cable forward direction three in reverse direction here we have 220 kv a ct is connected there is a circuit here 
which is connected to 220 kV. This is electronic circuit. This measures the current or any other parameter, whatever we want, and then converts that electrical signal to optical signal. This is fiber optic cable. We receive here optical signal, convert into electrical signal, and use for monitoring or protection. This circuit would again draw power from this 220 kV line itself. No separate power is given. We also use optical cable in very high electrical lines area. Distance may be less, high voltage may not be there, but because electrical lines is more, so we have to use optical cable. In low cost, connected in the train, use optical cables for normal signal transmission also, for triggering also, or for any other application. Today this much only.